this shit, this is shut down. Vine brillando como un bust down. Nigga, this is my city, this is touch down. Like I did, you la pongo en un lockdown. Nigga, I'm not fashion in love now. I can't mean to have more below now. More than when me cops just slow down. Nigga, Ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday night. I got these guys. Look at my guys. These are my guys. Talk about it with Gatica. I had to bring in the oof record, big dandadas. You know what I'm saying? We got the representative here for the click. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got Da Vinci, Vinci in the, the building. We got handsome. You Look at this is, man. handsome Oof guy. Records. Not only is he handsome, that's actually his legal name. Yes, it is. That's his legal name. Mama named me right. That's, that's crazy. it. Todos los dominicanos. These are my tigres over here, okay? <laughs> if you didn't know, now you know. Tigres, jalapeno, spicy, picante. You heard? Ooh. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, sir. You know the vibras. So I had to bring them over here because you know I had to show I had to showcase. You know, you already know. I love music. I'm a DJ. I love sound production, and I like to salute the people who I see are passionate about their crafts because there are a lot of artists out here. There is a lot of content, but there isn't a lot of consistent artists. And I gotta give my hat off to you because. It's hard out here, and I see you out here, like, That's dropping good. music every day, always, you know, catching a vibe, on the move, Word. and I had to bring you over here and inter interview you and, and have you on my platform for my audience to hear about you, all right? You know. <laughs> you already know the vibes. Um, talk about your music. I know you got some YouTube videos out. Um, did I see you on, on Spotify? The door? Yeah, dude. Of course. Oh, We're on Spotify, Apple, every other like avenue you can see. Pandora, if you use Pandora, I don't know what you use, but even on SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Yeah. That's crazy. Actually, SoundCloud, we got a SoundCloud, big push. SoundCloud, that's yeah. crazy. Shout out now, to SoundCloud. I think SoundCloud's a big platform. It's under it's, 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 it's better now because now it's monetized. Yeah. yeah. So now you it's more of an SoundCloud. incentive for an artist to go on it than it used to. You know? he, he's being humble because right now we're actually in talks with SoundCloud personally with SoundCloud to get a lot of his music out there, the label's music out there. So, you know. It's talk just, about it. That's why you're here. Summer. That's why you're here. Shout to talk about it. Hollywood, you heard? Yeah. <laughs> nah, most, when it comes to like the <laughs> business side, business aspect, you got to talk to my mans right here. Your manager? We got the manager on deck? But... <laughs> nah, nah, he don't like to consider himself as the manager. Oh, he's just the, the best is, A and R that in the oh, world. And those are essential. A and R's are super Bang essential. Shout out to my manager, that you already know the vibras. <laughs> yes, these are. Can you can you like just okay? So for people who aren't in the industry, right? What would you say is the what does an A and R do? Well, the original act behind the A and R was artists and repertoire. So their whole thing was pretty much setting up studio time, making sure that they got to the interviews on time, picking the beat, so to speak, almost like. An executive producer, but not because you had executive producers. Now it entails a lot more than that. Um, that's why he will say a lot of times, like, yo, you're kind of like a manager because at the label right now, it's literally like Fabian and I just going at it. By the way, Fabian, uh, it's my partner, owner of Wolf Records. So at the moment, my job as A&R is setting up studio time, trying to, trying to, I'll say trying to, get on top of purchasing beats, speaking with producers, getting these type of things together. But Da Vinci, not for nothing, is very self-worked. So a lot of this stuff, he ends up doing himself. I'm very proud of him in that sense. He's always grinding. I'm not tooting his horn because of no reason. It's just the truth. So I I'm very privileged, in a sense, to be working with such an artist like Da Vinci. I I'm excited. It's going to be a hot summer. I'm like excited for you. Um, tell the people, what kind of music do you create? Well, it all depends how I feel at the moment. What an artist response. <laughs> But okay, yes. But I'm, Media I trained. Don't, I don't know. I just, I just don't have like an actual lane. I used to say, now nah, I'm a trap artist, but nowadays it's like, well, however I feel at the moment, it's like, oh, shit, I heard a nice R&B beat, like Deja Vu. Mm. I showed him a beat. He was like, nah, nigga, you're not going to do nothing with this shit. Mm. I went in, laid the hook, he nigga, did. like, yo, what? I'm like, it's whatever. That's what true, comes at the time. A true creative, you know, you can kind of form into wherever your yeah. vibe you're being thrown in. I know me as a DJ, I'm constantly told, P Kat, pick a lane. Are you going to do hip hop? Are you going to do house? Are you going to do Latin? And I'm like, I want all of it. Nah, because you, you never know where the luck is at. Right. Because fuck around, I'll, I'll, I'll make a bachata and that shit pops. <laughs> and I'll blow up a bachata. But I do, I, understand, do I do understand the business aspect yeah. of it, though, right? Because it's like you have to basically have a proof of concept, show that you made it. 
yeah. show that you did it in that thing. And then once you've, you know, successfully proven yourself, then be like, hey, look, I did that. And now I could do this. And now I could do that. So I do understand yeah. the rationale of why, you know, our mentors probably oh, tell us to no, pick a lane. If I may chime in on that sense, like, he's downplaying it, but they're pretty much at the forefront of what's New York Latin drill, which is something that you see a lot of the big artists now hopping onto and trying to be there. But there's a lifestyle behind it that Da Vinci could talk about yeah, that fun. they don't understand. This is not just music, right? There's a lifestyle, there's a street aspect to it. It's it's all fun and games when you're making the music, but there's repercussions to a lot of those things. Basically, so, we live by it. Yeah. Whatever we say in them drills, we live by it. It's like, I'm not going to be talking about a drill like, oh... I bought a $20,000 chain, nigga. I'm not going to buy no $20,000 chain. I'm trying to live for a nigga. Yeah. So I think it's... I'm trying to spin blocks. I think, I think that it's hard to being an artist because it's like... People aren't going to take you seriously unless you have the chains, unless you have the $40,000 nah. watch and you got, like, nah. the, the car and this. Like, that's the, that's the status the of, you I know, being making it. I don't see it like that. I really don't. You think, the, of, you think the new nah, avenue a, change? Nah, there's a lot of new artists coming up that they really don't need to do all that stunting shit. Well, I think we were talking about it earlier. I think that COVID really kind of changed the name of the game too because the people who used to see pre-COVID that it was like, yeah, I got a million followers. I got this, I got that. It's like, but what did you do after that? You had that platform, but what are you doing with your platform? Yes. So it's a lot to you know be an artist oh, and stuff. But you're doing it. I see you out here. I'm just like, trying to build my followers. That's the only thing I need right now. So talk <laughs> about it. What's your Instagram? Oh, where can I where can my audience follow you? Underscore Da Vinci. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Not TikTok yet. Trying we gotta to, get on the TikTok. Because if you're not on t- TikTok is, is big too. That's a yeah, big platform yeah. Why don't you as well. Promote the song you have. That's called TikTok. Oh, oh yeah, it's my song. My main Find it on Hollywood. YouTube. And that show is called TikTok. We're going to play it after this little break. But I'm really grateful that you guys came all the way out here. I nah, appreciate thank you. thank you for inviting us over 100%. here. It's you already know. Latino yeah. Always looking out. Yo, you she don't get know. enough credit for what she does thank behind the scenes. Let me tell you something. Nah, but I like the way she is, though. Yeah. She, she gives it to herself, so I like that. Thank you, guys. It's, you got it. You know, I like to surround myself with people, like I said, who are passionate about what they do. It's not just about who has a big following. Just because you got a lot of followers don't mean that you're... You know? Yeah. Like, just, you know what I mean? Oh, like, I yeah, it's a big deal. Y'all okay. learned that the hard way. Yeah. You know, it's crazy because the other day, I was going to tell you about that. People from my, that don't even follow me that was hitting me up from, like, Colombia, Nicaragua, all from Latin America with the Demons song. You're right. I'm like, That's a fire song. That's crazy. How? That's a fire song. I don't need to. Cause I, this is what I'm going to tell a lot of people, whoever's listening to this. Do not think that making it as a local artist is a thing. Make sure you project your stuff anywhere but your hometown. Right. That's where you get the show. That's, that's the where love. you get the love from. Yeah, because at home they're gonna know you. Yep. Yeah. And they're gonna hate on you. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna promote you once you pop. Like it's just it's all different type of. Emotion. It's something about New York too. We're so oh, like yeah. I guess it's because there's so many of us. It's so much competition that yeah. when like we see somebody else who's like on that level with us, it's almost like nah nah. There's nah, a scarcity there. mentality. Nah, yeah. but it's like there's yo, enough, B. collaboration definitely. That's Teamwork, make the dream work, and I'm all about collabing with dope people. So, you know what I'm saying? I had to bring you guys remember, on my show. remember, collaborations, if it's to do with business, mm. don't do it just because y'all know each other. That's mm. my That's best. a bad thing right there. That's I tell true. That shit, I, I tell that to a lot of people, because nowadays, everybody's talking about unity, unity, yeah, but remember, <laughs> business first. That's true. Keeping it businessy. Because wow. it's not, because if it don't make dollars... It don't make sense. Okay? Okay. So, thank you again for coming to my show. Talk about it with Gatika. We're going to wrap this up. Going to play some of this fire music. And ya tu sabes. Muchísimas gracias, my tigres. You already know. know Shout out to the Dominicanos. (laughs) You know. Shut down, been up the come on, bust down, nigga. This is my city, just touch down. Like I did you love on lockdown, nigga. I can't be too humble below now. I'm gonna come to the slow down, nigga. Let my lemma just come.